You have probably seen this effect in movies and stuff. This is naturally caused by light going through a dirty lens and creating this bouquet looking artifacts over your footage. I think that this effect adds value to a shot that is dark and have a direct light in it and probably 3D renders where we want to create an illusion that there is a physical camera filming the scene. Now the first thing that we need in this tutorial is a stock footage. It's a 4K beautiful shot of a girl holding a fluorescent light. Download the link in the description. And the second thing that we need is an overlay. This is a high resolution black and white image of camera bouquet that I shot. I put a download link in the description, you can download it for free. It comes from a dirty lens bundle that I created. It contains 12 different high resolution overlays that you can use for this type of effect. There's a link in the description where you can buy it or you can create your own. So I also included a link to a great tutorial where you can learn how to do this kind of overlays yourself. All right, enough talking, let's get started. Let's drag the stock footage over here. That creates a new composition. Let's rename this composition to girl, right? Now we're gonna duplicate the stock footage, control D, and we're gonna head over to effects and presets, and we're gonna type in levels, and we're gonna apply it to the first layer. All right, so what we want to do here is to make everything black except the fluorescent light. So we're gonna increase the black input, something like this, and decrease the white, to make the fluorescent lights a little bit brighter. I think that something like this should do. Let's go to effect and presets again and type in fast box blur. Let's increase the blur radius. Maybe something like this. And we're gonna add a exposure effect. And increase the exposure. All right, so we're gonna pre-compose the first layer here. Let's rename this one to Dirty Lens. And we're gonna move all attributes into the new composition. Press okay. Let's go inside the Dirty Lens comp. Now we can drag the Dirty Lens overlay above the stock footage. Let's right click it, go to transform and fit to comp with. Now we're gonna change the track mat of the stock footage to luma mat. So we end up with something like this. Now we want to scale up the stock footage. I think something like this should do. Now let's go back to the main comp and see what we got. All right, so now we have our yellow bouquet over the stock footage. Now we have to change the blending mode to screen. Now we want to keep the dirty lens effect quite subtle. So let's head back to the dirty lens comp. We're gonna select the overlay and go to effects and presets and type in levels. And let's increase the white input a bit. Something like this. Head back to the main comp. Maybe a little bit more. I think something like this should do. Now that's much better. As we scroll through the sequence, we can see that the bouquet is reacting to the fluorescent light in the scene, and that's great. All right, we could be happy with this result and stop right here, but we can do a lot of fun stuff too, like adding a radial fast blur. Radial fast blur. We can increase the amount. Now this effect blurs out the bouquet from the center of the composition. Uh, maybe it's kind of hard to see, but it is there. It's a nice, it's a nice little effect. Let's hide this one and create some aberration. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create aberration or RGB split. So we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna apply a few effects to this. The first one is optics compensation. Let's check the reverse lens distortion. And the second one is 3D glasses. In the left view, we're gonna select our dirty lens layer. And in the 3D view, we're gonna choose balance colored red, blue. Let's add some exposure to this and uh, crank it up. Something like, something like this maybe. Now we're gonna go back to optics compensation and increase the field of view to six maybe. Increase the exposure a little bit more. Uh, let's zoom in and see what we got. Let's increase the field of view again. 
to 18 maybe. We can also increase the balance in the 3D glasses effect to 13 maybe. Right, cool. So now we have some RGB split or aberration going on here. It looks awesome. Just for fun, let's enable the radial fast blur. Let's see what we got. Right, so this looks really awesome. Let's increase the exposure. Oh, cool. All right, guys, so now we're done. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Now, like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, I have a dirty lens bundle that you can buy with 12 different high resolution overlays that you can use for this type of effects. There's a download link in the description. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.